All right, uh, Mattel, by the way. Can I just talk about Mattel <laughs> games for a second? Or Mego? Uh, yeah, instead of Mego, I want to talk about Mattel. I don't know what's going on with, the, with, with these people raising our kids to become fecal filiacs, but this is true. I saw this. I, I did see this game, and I wanted to uh, share it with you guys. Uh, this is called Flush Frenzy. Oh, uh, yeah. family fun. Poop. No. That is poop. Poop. There it is. That is a living piece of poop. poop. There it is. And what it? There he is. Look at this little smile. Look at this. That's a piece of shit. They're literally <laughs> selling your kid shit. Uh, you plunge the toilet. There's a toilet in here, and then the poop comes flying out into the air. I saw um, that. The, here's the game, right here. Mike. Mike. Look at that. What do you, you think of that the, you for just, your kids? You what do you that, think? You, just, you put that piece over your actual toilet and yeah. tell the kids to plunge it. But Mike, you're That's a normal family. family. Right Would there. you buy that for your kids ever on any planet? No. no. That looks Hell no. I already got that game at home. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Reality is much worse than Why that. Why does it come out of the top? It's an upper decker. Look at this. You, ever, you know what an upper decker is? That's when you go to your friend's house, lift mm -hmm. the tank off, and then poop in his tank. Yeah. Like, yeah. the, everyone the whole they're like why does my bathroom perpetually smell oh, like that? and they don't know yeah. why until they lift the tank one day and go oh my god and it's been in there for four Ethan, months in college we call them sky dumps when you stand up on top of the stall and try and aim for the toilet from on top of the stall this is Ethan, uh, Ethan uh, this is Robbie here I, I, oh, love, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love that game yeah, yeah. It reminds me of mom. <laughs> if he pulls a Hershey bar out of there. <laughs> unappealing, Cecil. Unappealing. Dude, that's like Milton Bradley and Mattel. Dude. Oh, this look at me. I'm, du I'm Doug washing my hands. <laughs> 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 Cecil, you're an abomination. That's an abomination. This is Damn absolutely funny. terrible. Look at these kids. Yay, we're playing with poop. He's got poop in his hand. Look at this. Cecil, if you were oh, Doug, you'd be dribbling my, stuff out of your mouth. Yeah, look at the minorities. They have the proper spread of minorities on all the models they hired. They all love shit equally. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> catch it. Look, ca it shoots in the air. Catch yeah. the feces. <laughs> we are the world. Yeah. <laughs> that's, the one, that's the one thing that unites all people. All, all our shit are brown. Uh, they're going to play that at the UN. It's the UN game. Yeah. <laughs> we are the world. The only sport I was ever good at. <laughs> Catching poop. Yeah. yeah. I'm ordering that right now. <laughs> uh, I'm a ringer for that game. I'd like to come over and play it. Absolutely. <laughs> I think we just really, really want to grow up to be plumbers. Yeah, I just, you know what? Like, they're, they're selling a lot of, like, poop-related games to kids. Yeah. I, I, it, it I started with that children's book, Everybody Poops. It's like, hee hee, we're yeah. radical. Everybody poops. Hee hee. Yeah. And then it just got worse and worse. Yeah. yeah. Why do little... why do we need a book about the obvious? Everybody poops. Yeah. No. Because poop. some kids yeah. feel bad about it. What if because somebody... some kids feel bad about it? I'm. Do I love that book. It really changed my life. I'm. Uh, I'm, also... <laughs> <laughs> I'm. I'm the patron saint of that book. Yeah. I'm. I'm writing a book called Everybody Dies Too. I was gonna ask you. Does anybody ever tell you to eat shit and die? I'm the only guy who. <laughs> <laughs> I love being on this panel with Doug because I'm, I have the second worst breath on this panel. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get that from, Cecil? Where did you get that from? <laughs> if you already right. own that thing, I'm not going to ever talk to you again. If you already he got, it, that he got it from Mattel. He got it from Mattel. That's Robbie. It's not Cecil. It's yeah, Robbie. I'm sorry, Cecil. Robbie. Where did you get your get up from? Because if you already own that, I'm going to like call the police on you. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, I gotta be me. Oh. Like a proctologist. Oh, I've been looking know, for my right? glasses all night. Uh, oh. <laughs> hey, those are my glasses. What are you doing? Oh, that's what they were. Oh, those are my glasses. Jesus.
Oh my Put them gosh. on. You'll look and smell like Doug. <laughs> <laughs> I, got uh, two, I got two blue eyes and one brown eye. All right, I'm going to put Cecil back on. All right. Gosh. What Thank a mess. You, Why do we put up with this? Why do we do this? Why do we put our chat through this? He puts that thing up because then you long for Cecil to come back. That is true. Yeah, when he when he is Robbie the Rectum, I'm like, where's Cecil? Let me get Cecil back <laughs> in there. Begging for the first time, begging for Cecil to come back because they've seen that thing. Oh my, oh God. my gosh! Wow, He's Detective a- Dead Crimson Moon is doing really well in spite of uh, everything. Uh, the dentist <laughs> said, "Settle it." Uh, Doug has tried to destroy Detective Dead Crimson Moon. He made it his own personal mission. Uh, oh, I that, Doug. But we were friends. 